Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. I'm going to show you one of the baits that's been pretty good for me, consistent, successful, small to medium sized fish. I call it the Sand Rag Combo. It consists of these two chaps. A sand eel and a live ragworm. The sand eel is frozen. If you can get fresh, so much the better. It's tougher. These are blast frozen ones. You can get them in most tackle shops. These ragworm you can either dig yourself or you can buy them in the tackle shop. So I'm going to make a combo bait of these on a single hook, not a pedal, and whip them with bait elastic. It's streamlined, casts well, and a lot of fish like this combo bait. First thing is to nip off the tail of the sand eel. This one's been blast frozen, so the tail's gone anyway. I nip that off. Then, what's quite important, I find, is to have a ragworm about the same length, a tad longer than the sand eel you intend using. So, in through the base of the tail, I go in just the other side of the backbone, backbone get it, pop it out like this, just get it out without breaking it, then that slides up over the eye of the hook. I support it so it doesn't break apart too much. So you can see, that's just sliding on there now. Now what I do, go in through the pincer or mouth end, which is basically the fat end there. Now, if these burst, if you just get some spit on the hook, you'll find the body will slide over a lot easier. So I go in right through the mouth, support it, squeeze it tight, and you can pop it over the barb of the hook. Roll it right around, just like this. You can actually slide the sand eel up with your fingers, between your fingers there. Gonna, same again, support it so that you pop that head over. When I figure that's all on there, I bring back, as you can see there, I bring back, it's the same length. I want to go through the eye sockets or head generally, because that's a good supporting area. I go through the gills, but the eye sockets is good. There, so you can see the hook's nice and clear. Then I'm going to keep it straight. The most important thing is to keep this bait straight. You can cast a long way with it. Get your elasticated thread. It doesn't matter where you start. Hold a pinch between your thumb and forefinger and just overlap it. I don't bind it too tightly because it will cut into the worm and I want to try and keep the worm supported and lashed on there. The other, the other thing is you can make a mistake of whipping over the point of the hook. Like, I'll just show you so you know the mistake, just there. Don't whip over the point of the hook, it might mask the point when you want to wind a fish in. So just ease it around and under the bend. Sometimes you can go around that side of the head, then back up the shank. I'm trying to keep it nice and straight as I go up. Bind it all the way up there. And I find, I've got this around the wrong way actually, it's got my line in the way, but I find trying to bind that round on the tail is the best or most important part. Quite a few turns there, you can even put a few turns onto the shank of the line itself. There's a World War II plane going over me at the moment, it's annoying for the sound man. Just make sure that's bound like that. Now finish, I'll finish in the middle because it's soft. A half hitch through there, pinch it, snap it off. Now that bait is a superb bait for any fish, big fish, cod, rays, bass, bass love that, big flounders and of course if they do chew away the crabs chewing away the, the ragworm there you've still got the sandal on the other side. There's your main line and your shock leader this is a pulley bead which slides up and down the line if you can see that like that so you tie your main line to the swivel and then you have what we call a trace, a snood, a link to the bait. The bait's here goes all the way down to a swivel there and the second piece goes all the way down to our lead here. There's the lead. So what you do, you must, you don't have to do this, but if you want an extra bit of distance, you want a streamlined bait, and try and get this so it's all in the camera shot for you. And here comes the worm. So these, these little clips have a little tag on them that goes into the bend of the hook. So I bring down our bait, 
get it on the bend of the hook. Hopefully, just clip it in the bend of the hook. Hopefully, you can see that, guys. And then when that goes shooting out, look, that's lovely and streamlined. It's here, it's behind the lead. It's like in the slipstream of the lead, if you like. It hits the water and it falls free, as you've, saw, as you've seen there. So I just put it on again. There's a little clip. I get it on the bend of the hook. It clips up. And I'm going to send that as far as I can. And that's what we call the Sandrag Combo Bait.